Uh, welcome to the INCO seminar series. Today we have with us Hiroshi Hayasaka from AIST, and uh, he will tell us about counter diabetic driving. Uh, take it away. Thank you for your introduction. I'm Hiroshi Hayasaka from AIST Japan. Today, I will talk about a general method to construct mean field counter diabetic driving for counter maneuvering. Uh, collaborators, uh, uh, Dr. Imoto, Dr. Matsuzaki, and Dr. Kawabata. This talk is based on the result obtained from NEDO project. First, uh, I will talk about introduction. In recent years, the application of quantum annealing in the field of material science has been attracted much attention. For example, Quantum chemistry is one of the important applications of quantum annealing. In the field of condensed matter physics, such as spin glass phase and uh, cosseted surface transition have been observed on the uh, quantum annealer. These demonstrations mean that the quantum annealer has the potential to explore the property of many body physics. And uh, it can be expected that the quantum annealer can be used as a, a relatively large scale and programmable systems as quantum many body simulator. In such a background, we are interested in how we can efficiently perform such a simulation or state preparation in quantum annealer. One of the methods to address this issue is counter-diabetic driving. The counter-diabetic driving is known as a method to completely suppress non-adiabatic non transitions. So it can achieve the adiabatic time evolution in short annual time. However, uh, the construction of CD term, many body systems, generally requires uh, non-local interactions. So it makes uh, experimental implementation difficult. Moreover, uh, there is need to know the exact energy eigenstate of the many body system during quantum annealing. To address these difficulties, a mean field approximation for the counter diabetic term has been proposed. The advantage of mean field approximation is that CD term can be expressed as a local form, and uh, we don't need to know the exact energy eigenstate. However, previous research mainly focused on the case of uniform ferromagnetic Ising model and has not addressed antiferromagnetic interaction or non-uniform interactions. In our study, we investigate the construction of, of CD term for general interaction. <laughs> Before I explain the detail of our calculation, First, we will explain the difficulty of mean field, uh, mean field theory in general interaction. Let's consider an uh, antiferromagnetic Ising model with nearest neighbor interaction. In this model, the ground state is classical nail state. In this model, uh, we need to consider the simultaneous equation for each sub lattice, and then to find, in order to find the ground state, we need to solve, solve uh, such a self consistent equation. Of course, you know, this problem is e easy to solve. However, if the interaction has uh, no uniform, we we 
we need we need distinguish the magnetization for each qubit because uh, we, we don't know the uh, what what configuration realize in advance so we need to solve uh, a nonlinear simultaneous equation at each time together because uh, this self consistent equation right hand side of this equation depends on the magnetization at other other side so it, it may become computational bottleneck <clears throat> so to avoid this disparity we propose uh, such a, a practical method to obtain the C CD mean field CD term by computing the mean field dynamics. This is schema of our, our, our and uh, conventional Tamanili. Uh, in conventional quantum annealing, if annealing time is short, the spin precession in around uh, effective magnetic field occurs, and then uh, the fidelity becomes decreased. On the other hand, in our method, we use uh, the initial, initial configuration as uh, initial condition for this uh, magnetization dynamics. And then we calculate this differential equation and obtain that like uh, mean field CD field. And then we use this field, the spin precession is uh, completely suppressed as a result, the fidelity, the de de reduction of fidelity is mitigated. Next, we will provide more details of our cal calculation. First, let's start with the explanation of our model. We consider quantum annealing Hamiltonian with mean field CD field like this. HP is problem Hamiltonian, which is a quantum spin glass model as problem Hamiltonian. Here, JIJ is random interaction uh, generated from the standard normal distribution. The driver Hamiltonian is tra transverse magnetic field. And uh, we use random longitudinal field to avoid metastable state in classical dynamics. The mean field CD term is given by this form. First, we investigate uh, whether the mean field dynamics of magnetization correspond to the population. This figure shows the time dependence of magnetization. Here we brought uh, one of the typical results in the random sampling for the longitudinal field and the interaction. Solid line shows the solution of mean field dynamics, and uh, dashed line shows the solution of self consistent equation. This result shows the uh, dynamics of magnetization correspond to the self-consistent solution. Moreover, the Y component of magnetization is always zero. This means that the motion of magnetization is constrained in XZ plane. So the spin precession is completely suppressed. Next. We show the result of the quantum annealing. Here, anneal time is t equal to one, and the system size is eight qubits. And uh, we perform 100 samples as ro random longitudinal field, uh, both 
case with uh, CD term and without CD term. And uh, we examined up to 30 samples for random interaction, but all samples show the similar behavior. So therefore, we, we will show the uh, result with uh, single realization of interaction. First, we examine the fully connected spin glass model, so-called the Sherrington Kirkpatrick model. This figure shows the time dependence of fidelity. Here, the fidelity is defined as the inner product between the Schrodinger dynamics and the exact diagonalization of Hamiltonian. As you can see, in the case with a penal, uh, counter diabetic arm, Fidelity decreased in all samples because no, no other non-adiabatic transition. On the other hand, in the case with CD term, reduction of fidelity is mitigated in many samples. And the, these decrease indicate classical dynamics of magnetization trapped in a metastable state and the appropriate CD field is not realized. Next, we show the case of one, di one dimensional spin chain, which means uh, interaction has only first nearest, first nearest neighbor. This result shows the almost a similar behavior of free connected spin glass model. Typically, mean field approximation deteriorates in low dimensional system. But this result suggests that our result, our method can also be applied for in low dimensional system. We will explain about implementation on D-Wave. D-Wave Anira cannot implement our CD term because CD term is proportional to sigma y. So we introduce a time-dependent spin rotation operator to eliminate the sigma y term. Moreover, if Hamiltonian has no non-uniform interaction like spin glass, the non-uniformity appear in the drive, driver Hamiltonian through this spin rotation. Such a independent, independent control for transverse field cannot be implemented in current d wave anira. Therefore, we consider a fully connected antiferromagnetic model as example of implementation of our method. This model exhibits an exponential degeneracy in the ground state when the longitudinal field is zero. And uh, we choose the longitudinal field like this to realize that the uh, classical nail state has uh, become unique ground state. After this spin rotation, the Hamiltonian is given by this form, where A, A and G prime is scheduling function, which the scheduling function reflects the uh, uh, time dependence of the CD field. We also use this linear schedule to compare the performance of mean field CD term. This is the result. This, this result shows that the success probabilities becomes higher due to our mean, uh, mean field CD term compared to the linear scheduling. This is a summary of this talk. We propose the general and practical method to construct the mean field CD term. 
And uh, we numerically demonstrated that quantum annealing with mean field CD term can be can obtain the ground state with high fidelity. And finally, we implemented our method on the D-Web quantum annealer and demonstrated high success probability can be obtained. That's all. Thank you for listening. Uh, thank you. Is there any questions? No. Can you hear me? Yes. I have a question. Uh, so could you go back to the definition of the Hamiltonian? Oh, what if the random long the field HL, uh, if you eliminate from this Hamiltonian, uh, wh what will happen? Can you can get the ground state, or you, you can't get the ground state? What what is the role of this Hamiltonian uh... term? Some of the case, the if the we set the uh, HL equals zero, some of the case will will work, uh, and we can get the appropriate CD term. But in you know, other case, uh, like uh, for example, the completely uh, uniform ferromagnetic Ising model, if this term equals zero, the ground state uh, become degenerate, all up and all down state. So we can't get the such a de de uh, degenerate ground uh, system. We, we can't uh, perform the quantum annealing and uh, we can't get the CD term. Mm -hmm. so, so in, in such case, we, you can add a small local uniform field uh, during the annealing process. So that, that is another approach. But why you, you choose this? Uh, for me, it, it seems the combination with HL and H. CD, that is an effective counter diabetic Hamiltonian term. That, that is my, my feeling. Uh, mm. Yeah, so so I, I want to understand the. Uh, uh, so I have uh, a question. Uh, uh, if. Uh, uh, yeah, so I, I didn't quite follow the connection between the uh, this time time dependent basis change that you used in, with uh, sigma z matrix, and then also a time dependent sigma z matrix that appeared in this Hamiltonian in the bottom of this slide. So what sorry, is the relationship sorry. between them? So sorry, uh, which, which slide? Uh, well, the the one of your last slides. So, uh, sorry. Uh, the, the at the very end. Hmm? At the sorry, very please end please. of your talk. And I. Yeah. So this slide, there is this rotation here, and then at the bottom there will be a Hamiltonian if you, uh, if you, yeah. So this H not Hamiltonian. So what is the relationship between that rotation and this Hamiltonian? Are they related at all? Uh, we use this this rotation to eliminate the sigma y, and uh, if 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 we use this rotation, the like uh, so the. Uh, 
So you're saying oh. there's no connection between these two bullet points, right? So the first bullet point and the third and the last two bullet points are not related. Is that the case? Sorry, I, I, I can't understand you. Um, uh, uh, so I, I'm one of the author of this uh, uh, paper here. Uh, so uh, I, I can explain a little bit. Uh, so in the original Hamiltonian, he, he defined it, it contains the sigma y, uh, but to implement in the quantum manner of D wave, uh, we need a sigma y and applying the conversion using that rotation, we, we can go to the rotating, uh, uh, how can I say, uh, okay, to, to eliminate the, or to convert the sigma y to sigma C and X, that is a, a, a aim to apply that uh, uh, rotating frame. Does it make sense? Yeah, I understand the purpose, but I don't understand the result, right? So you do this and then what do you get? Um. Is, is this the Hamiltonian that you get after you do this, or is this Hamiltonian just entirely unrelated? Yes. Uh, I, I uh, think he, he, he finally gets the, to the Hamiltonian in the previous, yeah, this H0. That is effective Hamiltonian after uh, applying the rotating. Yes, yes, frame. yes. Yes. Uh, if we choose uh, such a uh, scheduling and uh, then we we eliminate the sigma y and if the this uh, well, so h0 holds, is is written in the rotating frame yes this this formula is in the rotating frame yes oh i see i see okay okay thank you I think. Were there other questions? Okay, uh, well, thanks for stopping by uh, the Inca seminar and uh, uh, see you all uh, next week. Thank you.